So we just arrived to our condo in Princeville, which is on the island of Kauai. Um, we flew from uh, the island of Oahu here, and it was only a 20 minute flight, so quick, so the islands are pretty close together. And yeah, the Airbnb or condo that we're staying at is incredible, and the views are stunning. So we've got a hire car now, it's a white Mustang, it's pretty bad weather, like it's cloudy and it was raining before because it is winter, so that's fine. I will show you the condo now. So this is the view from the balcony. So it's the ocean all the way out there, past the trees, and then there's mountains up there. I don't know if you can see, but right past the trees there, there's mountains. So yeah, it's very cloudy. And then we have the house, so there's a bit of luggage laying around. And sofa area, kitchen table, kitchen. And me and Felicia got the larger room because mum and dad wanted the view. So we just have the amazing view of the parking lot. But you know, our white Mustang is right there so we can just keep an eye on our baby for the next four days. And yeah, then we just have our ensuite bathroom. And then that's just another bathroom, place to get ready. And this is mum and dad's room. So they got the smaller bed, but they're winning here with the views. So I think we're just gonna chill here for the night because it's such bad weather. But tomorrow we were supposed to be going on a helicopter ride to over the place where Jurassic Park was filmed. But hopefully it's not raining, otherwise it's not really any point of going on the helicopter because the point is to get like good shots and just enjoy the ride and the view and stuff, but we'll see what happens. So we just got into the Mustang and now we're traveling to uh, the helicopter place. helicopter and that was the sickest thing I have ever done. The views that you just saw were nothing compared to what I actually saw because it's always better in real life and holy shit it was amazing. How sick are these trees? Rainbow usually. We're just doing a lunch here now. Very cute place. Tacos, tacos. So I got the nachos appetizer. It doesn't really look like an appetizer, it more looks like a family village for me. Hi guys, it's day seven. <laughs> We're walking on the way me a trail right now, trail right now, trail right now, and we are so lost. We don't know where the hell we're going, but hopefully this is the right way. We're actually going downhill, we're supposed to go uphill. A bit confusing, we're in the middle of the jungle right now. Don't know what's going on. Yesterday we went horse riding and 
zip lining, but I couldn't film it because I didn't want to damage my camera. But I'll get back to you and tell you if we got lost or not. Okay, we made it to the cliff's edge. Felicia. Okay, so we just got to our last hotel that we're staying at, it's Paradise Bay Resort. And it's very small but very cute. Got a little kitchen area there. And the best part, of course, is the view. mountains at the back with the sun at the back of it it's so sick so we just got to our third resort it's in on the island of Oahu so we flew from Kauai here and then we drove from the airport to the east side of Oahu it was about an hour's drive all up because we went the wrong way we had to end up putting on my GPS on my phone so like the global roaming only five dollars a day so it's okay and we got a different rental car. We got a Holden, Honda, sorry. And it's way bigger than the Mustang, so it's so much better because we could barely fit any of our luggage in the Mustang. And we were literally, like me and Felicia were shoulder to shoulder with a suitcase and the edge of the door. But it's okay. We now got our Honda and we're doing good. So we're just gonna chill here and maybe go out for dinner and hopefully I can get a good night's sleep tonight because we've been doing stuff every single day like hiking, trekking, horse riding, all that jazz. So we're now heading towards North Shore. It's like the famous part of Oahu because of the surfing there. The um, famous billabong surfing competition called the Pipeline Masters is on at the moment but it's cancelled for today because it's blown out. So, but we're still going to go and have a look at that. So it's really bad weather as well, like it's raining this morning and yeah. But we're at Sunset Beach now. It's one of the most famous beaches here in Hawaii and there's a few cool surfer dudes around. So I'm gonna try and film them, maybe they're famous, I don't really know. But yeah, we're gonna check it out. The waves are pretty big. There's lots of surfers out there. I don't know if you can't get the car to go in. So here we are. There would be lots of famous surfers surfing here right now, but obviously the weather's not up to the standard. But, so yeah, there's actually no surfers here, unfortunately. Pretty cool piece of artwork here. It says plastic free pipeline. So Felicia's in her element here. She's very environmentally friendly. Love it. So it just has like trash piled up into art, but actually looks cool. has like trash is really popular here so we had to try it we got passion fruit flavor pina colada and strawberry so yummy so we're just going to do some yoga now can't wait because i haven't actually done some exercise at all this whole trip apart from tracking and stuff so kind of missing that um i don't know what type of yoga it is but i don't really mind i just want to do some We just went canoeing and that was kind of a disaster. The waves were semi big and they kept crashing up against the canoe. So every time it crashed up, I got soaking wet and I was at the front and Felicia was at the back. So she didn't really get the consequences of the waves I did. So I was like, oh my God, like paddle faster, hurry up. And then, yeah, I just got really soaking wet with mm, the not best water, the not best water, the not clearest, I can't speak English today. And I think we're just going to go to Waikiki Beach again today because it's pretty sunny and we're just going to enjoy our last day because 
just relax and stuff before we have to do our 15 hour flight again.